Good morning, my lovely. Can you see me? <laughs> no, you can't because I've got the camera. Okay, there you go. Hello. It is very, 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 very windy. And first thing I see, should I show you with the, this flower? Starfish flower number 72 is so hard to say the name. It's a Pieranthus geminatus. A smell rating, fruity. Okay. So this is what I love, love, love about this. Another product from Paradisia Nurseries because they have these cultural notes which is very helpful. But you just use this as a guide. And soft body succulents is be damaged or rot so care must be taken with handling and watering. So when they are dormant, which is in the warmer months, if you water them, they will die on you. And if you don't water them for a long time, they will die on you. <laughs> no, they prefer actually being watered at the end of summer, I notice. And when the weather cools down, they uh, flower. And look how beautiful. So it's the same with the other one, smelly section, I call these ones here. But look how beautiful that flower is. It's that, isn't that gorgeous? I can't talk properly because I've got this thing between my legs. Metho. In my rusty shelf section here, I just noticed I need to transplant or repot my Romeo. So Romeo's, this is Sirius, Le Beautiful. That one is also Sirius and it's become spotted. Now all of them became spotted and I kept thinking that maybe it's because of the rust on top of this. It's just yesterday we've been busy. We just been in the hospital again with Hobby with his, I think he got, what did he <laughs> Maintenance I call it. <laughs> but anyway, he had uh, x-rays. Yeah, x-ray. Hang on, wait a minute. I lose track of my or his medical appointments. But this Romeo here is experiencing some powdery mildew. So I have my metho and come on, spritz it. There you go. It doesn't get rid of the powdery mildew straight away all at once is what I noticed. Stops them for a few days and then I have to check it a few days later to see if they do come out. And because this is based on my experience with my Ruben or Romeo Ruben. So this Romeo Ruben here, about, I think three weeks ago, had experienced some, or I've seen some powdery mildew. Do you see that? And because, see those white fluffy bits there? Because of its color, I didn't want to use sulfur on it. And sulfur has been really good with my other succulents. But on certain plants, aloes don't like them, and crassulas don't like them, and of course this one, is a Romeo Rubin with beautiful red and I didn't want to make it all go white so I'm using my metho spray so now I'm gonna spray this again so I sprayed it once before about three weeks ago and I've been checking on it and nothing's happening and the last couple of days it started showing up again the minute it rains they pop out again because it's been dry for about over a week and now because the the soil is still sort of wet from previous rains oh hello beautiful clavatum so good just the clavatums right now they're so fat anyway yeah so i have to spray all the way around and it doesn't hurt it and it's still alive and this one's here i've been i've sprayed them can you see those white powdery bits these variegated red tips so I started with one red tip and then now I have three red tips Crassula. This is the little fantasy here. It is time to actually propagate them. So a lot of crassulas are actually biennial. So every two years, they grow for two years and then they die. So if you have your crassula and you're wondering why it's doing that, it's because it's telling you it's time to propagate me. So what you got to do with this one is, see, that's already dry. They have to be uh, taken out. That doesn't sound very good. Take them out. No, okay. See, this one's growing. So it's time to propagate them again. And I'm just going to remove all these gangly bits. I like calling them gangly. Because they are gangly. Not very nice. Anyway, so this one... Um, I really like saying that I only started with one bit 
just to show you that you only need one leaf, <laughs> one stem <laughs> cuttings. So this one now, I should really bring this inside. I've got my hands is full. I'm going to drop you there and I'm going to come back to you. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because winter is coming. Today is nice and warm. Well, supposedly warm because it was forecast, I think, four degrees overnight lowest. And this morning we had some areas uh, the the weather report online they all vary from four degrees to some say it's six degrees overnight or eight degrees so it's crazy another one is saying one degrees but it's still fairly warm uh, i went to bed this morning at about four o'clock and there was no frost so i'd say it was pretty warm okay i'll put you here hang on i'll put this one in this section here oops the spot for this has been taken up by that giselle hello giselle okay so we had rain and i it was it has a little container but anyway a saucer okay i'll put you there now and so i took them out so this one as well oh look <gasps> See, the minute it rains, powdery mildew. So this one I sprayed before, can you see those powdery bits, with my sulfur, and it was fine. And then now it came back, there's a couple bits I suppose I can see that I miss that has powdery mildew. And look at all my beautiful variegated plants here that I need to repot. But anyway, so this, this emerald rose needs to be sprayed. See, you can see the damage of the powdery mildew. You can't help it. So you see, uh, one, two, three, so there are those little black spots. Looks like they've been punched by Amber Heard. <laughs> I've been following uh, that. It's entertainment. I'm not saying it's entertainment for Johnny Depp's life to be ruined. But, but anyway, um, she could be guilty or he could be guilty. I don't know. Only the two of them knows the real story so far. But anyway, why am I putting you there? Anyway, yeah, I'll put you up here. You've been sprayed. So I'll put you here. So what I'm saying is that winter is here and a lot of my plants needs to be put away because they can't handle the frost. And not this ones. These ones are fine here. But I've already secured my suyon, also young jin. See, all these plants here that I've sort of got ready, this is going to go in the garden mostly. That's Monroe, Monroe, uh, Pink Edge, and what's the other one? <laughs> it is all Pink Edge, those ones there. They're so pretty. I should do a pink video still. I haven't got time. I'm sorry, my love, Elise, because uh, hubby takes precedent over everything else that I do so blue minima is blooming again but during summertime that thing was like dead it's like a sitting dead not a walking dead I watch a lot of shows <laughs> that's how I unwind now anyway now it's starting to grow again now that it's cold but winter is here and today, not today, tomorrow morning, it's forecast minus one, minus two or something like that. Minus three. There you go. Oh, minus three. And then the following day. So today is Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, minus three. And the day after that, Thursday, Friday, minus one. It was supposed to be minus one, but then the temperature went up now. So anyway, it's definitely frost time. I have to go around here. Sorry, without you. So anyway, because it's a lot. Any sort of, see this one, chocolate. That chocolate has to be secured. So I've been securing all my freelies. They can't handle the frost that much. They can handle it like this one. Subalpina alpine rose. This one is just gorgeous. Look at that. From one plant to many heads now, but that's like three, four years in the making. That can handle frost now, but a lot of them can't. They still suffer the frost. That one is something white rose. That one is white rose. It's almost like a small version of a Kante cross afterglow. This Jocelyn Ainsworth hybrid, she named it chocolate okay has to go into my other suyon variegated which just 
a big disappointment for me. It's not variegated, but I don't know. It looks like more like uh, something else. But I'm putting them here. Alo can go here. So I'm rearranging all my succulent or the lawi. I forgot uh, that actually got affected by powdery mildew and I harvested a couple of the babies on the side and that's my chop chop job from ages from a couple of years and it's still alive but anyway just produced a lot of babies for me already now my Hawarthia collection they can handle the frost but because of my rusting shelf over there uh, I have to put them all here for now they've been all repotted and uh, cleaned up a lot of them so there's more this is just <laughs> there's a few more in the garden or somewhere tucked in over there but anyway oh arachnoidea there's another one big one of that somewhere a pot full of hairy haworthia they're so easy to look after but you have to be careful this one hang on i'm just checking i thought the haworthia turgida b sub erecta just in case that's powdery mildew white fluffy bits that's reported from soil with intermediate soil mix so haworthia are not very fussy i find that even if they say oh yeah they're hard to grow they won't put out babies look at this trancata who's got lots of babies and also the soil mix i think is the secret so i just plant them in the soil i have a video of how i potted i think i potted up some haworthia and anyway it's a soil mix. It's in all in the soil mix. The minute they've got the right soil mix, you can put them out in the rain. They will grow. Put them out in the sun. They will grow. They just go pretty. Yeah, they go red. But if you don't like the red version of Haworthia, then you have to put it in the shade like this one's here. And they do grow. I got more here. There you go. I got more Haworthias that I've repotted. Even the uh, Venusta here. They're so beautiful. Anyway, I just love them. What do you call <laughs> Ionium? Ionium Inferno. I've got two of them so this is one inferno beautiful and then the other inferno here can you see that the second i'll just stick to this one first see all of this is all like opening and saying hello i'm awake i'm awake and i am beautiful are you no sorry this is wrong you're a mardi gras okay yes because of the pot Oh, see, it's a good thing. I remember the pot because I just noticed I was what well, I thought. Okay, I'll put this Himimikyo crested. Look, Tabule for me, Himimikyo. Where am I going to put you? They are, see, look, roots. They needed to be, hang on. Do I put you there now? I, I don't even know where I'm going to put you. I'll put you here. Have to move things around because of the frost. This is Mardi Gras and. <laughs> This is Inferno. I mean, honestly, guys, they all look the same, except the Mardi Gras is going, Hello, it's carnival time. And then the Inferno is like, I don't know, it's so pretty, isn't it? I think I like the Inferno better. And look at the center of it. It's still closed off. It's like teasing you, titillating, saying, I am beautiful. Now, they look the same to me, except the Mardi Gras is more open. I don't know, like, I really like the Inferno because it's more compact, I think. And down in the bottom here is, yes, more Inferno. See, Paradisian Inferno. There you go. That's what it's called. Now, anyway, so the Paradise. Yeah, you are prettier. So that's still dry leaves from the hibernation period or the dormancy period. So I need to clean them up. And this one, I need to... Uh, Grenovia, I need to water you. The elm tree leaves are falling. They are falling. And then this hibiscus is all just twiggies. And there's a couple of flower still on that one. Look, it's still flower. I think they're going to bloom. I don't know. The frost going to hit you, okay? So you better hide. This one i still haven't had a chance to work in my garden but <laughs> this took the whole day just about not the whole day but when i say i work in the garden for a couple of hours that's a whole day for me and i have to install the shade cloth 50 percent uv okay over my powdery mildew 
uh, what are you? I forgot your name. Are you Afterglow? Yes, Afterglow. Now, the Afterglow of the powdery mildew. Look, I didn't spray this. I just left them. I left them because I said to myself, if they're going to die, I don't want to have them anymore. Because anything that's high maintenance, that I have to do a lot of work, I have to do a lot of looking after, I haven't got the time. So, the whole point of having a succulent garden for me is that low maintenance, that's important. No watering, no looking after, only when I have the time can I look after them, which is very, very uh, few because most of the time we're out prospecting or fishing or fossicking for gold and gemstones. But when the times that I'm here, that's only very few, it's only because we have uh, six children if someone's birthday a uh, relative or mom and dad but anyway so family life now i've already put out my arrangement that was in the back this was in the back for a long time and then now i'm ready to put that out here so basically i want this area to just be plonk okay <laughs> i use that word plonk which means it's just you just drop it there and forget about it and they will grow and thrive and not die on me so all these plants now that I have in there I can see some freely in the corner there that's I think um, I don't know if that's blue waves or something like that but it doesn't look very healthy now if it dies it dies now this sedum I think that one there is I don't know if it's Pat's pink or I have a label somewhere or golden goddess but it's a sedum it's supposed to survive but they are actually not as frost hardy as I would like them to be because in previous years they have died from the frost now that cotyledon there is going sort of blacky but it doesn't matter so the cotyledon uh, the lady fingers they're still gorgeous and the stem has to be removed but oh I should show you this crested Ionium arboreum there Gem look at your arboreum it's putting out lots of crested babies so probably time to harvest some of that and look even the top head there was only one wonky bendy I think I've done shown this in one of my videos wonky <laughs> Ionium arboreum before that that can actually survive the frost but anyway I still put it there just in case uh, I planted it with the violet queen hang on I should go there on the other side later on so my sails or shade cloth are in and then I use this metal torch this metal torch not gonna believe me I bought a whole lot of them because they were well I did share it with other people but they have a whole bunch of discontinued product at my local hardware store and I paid a dollar 63 for them so for less than two bucks and I got I think two dozen or something like that but anywho the Bidens see how beautiful that is and I'm just wondering if that's going to die with the frost, but with the shade cloth, ah, look, my heart got blown off. That's how strong. This is a really heavy uh, hat. There you go. My Akubra. This is my Akubra hat. And you, oh, see, it's a good thing I came here because plants are getting blown off. Now this one, I put this here because I want it to serve as a protection for this one here for the frost will settle from the top down they don't go sideways but this has an opening on the side here can you see and this plant is just in the trajectory of that corner there so i thought i'll put this plant here i think probably i should put another uh, pot so it does <laughs> okay <laughs> don't get blown off please don't get blown off okay a lot of the freelies I put in my cage here because I want it to serve as a protection or this thing here as a protection for that one. I'm still meant to put some hanging plants in there but I haven't had time. And those uh, Tori or Catella over there, the red ones, I can't remember but there's a label somewhere. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so, oh, before I do that, let's run into here. See how busy I am? My... Uh, Kante already have its covering okay it's got the bushes over there the winds blowing off my hat again uh, the bushes over there sort of covering it on the side so it's gonna be sort of protected and that is huge that's like almost I think three almost 
400 millimeters or 40 centimeters across now and I put one of my white ebony over in that pot and my pink what do you call that thing Mexican giant over there and Monroe who's so beautiful I'm gonna put a whole heap of Monroe here that's what you've seen earlier but I just haven't got time and my black uh, prince or this is actually Ichok I'm gonna put it all around here now let's go over on the other side so now this one I was gonna remove this gladiola because I really hate them it looks so ugly it just ruins the look of the garden look at that it's covering a lot of the succulents but since it's winter I thought I'll leave it they can serve as protection for the other plants before I could put uh, something else in there but a lot of this freelies is the reason why I've done a double decker here just so the bottom ones the freelies can get protected although that has already seen 19 20 21 this is the third winter because I remember 2019 is when I put that in in April yep 20 <laughs> three years third winter so this one's here I see how beautiful that um, Violet Queen that I forgot to put into the ground over here but I'm doing a test with my lilac spoon here <laughs> that's still in the pot if that gets hit by the frost then oh look too much water they burst oh someone gave me some pots too one pot two pots and they weigh a ton their cement pot and then that big one there I'm gonna remove this yaka that's here and move that over here and hang on so many things to do but I haven't got time to do it Jeez, and then doing this video. How about I don't do a video for a year? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now, uh, this area, so I put a whole lot of plants and I put my, what do you call that beautiful thing there? Yes, purple delight or crystal, Gaptiveria crystal. And this one is already bending down, so I might as well. Okay. Are you purple delight? Yeah, I think you are. Anyway, you're not very purple, so that's making me think. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, you are purple delight. I remember you. Okay, that we grow there. But I'm so I'm, I was gonna do a chop chop video of this, but I don't have time. I got all these video ideas that I want to do, and I had just haven't couldn't find the time. Now this one here is my aloe, aloe aculeata white thorns, and this is the black thorn, and the other one's white thorn. It's all red and orange and beautiful before the minute you put it in the ground. I'm talking 100 miles an hour. They go green. Now this one, I only have one top and one body over there somewhere. This is Victor Kane. Yes, Victor Kane here. Aha, uh -huh, Victor Kane. So now I also, before I used to put the label like that so I can see it, the pen keeps getting bleached, so I reverse it. And I just stick that on there like that. So that way, the name, I don't lose the name. This is how I lose a lot of the names of my plants because I can't remember them all, but the Mundas is just looking so beautiful and look how many babies are. One, two, three, four, five. And then that one is a cutting and I'm sure that's already rooting in there. So anyway, guys, I'm just gonna mumble on and I'm supposed to put a couple of other plants in here. Chihuahua Yensis, I wanna put in here, but I'm just worried that someone's gonna pinch it, but I don't think so because I wanna put in this area, look, this, it's not to be thrown away because, oh, that's hard. See, that's the reason why I'm going to keep it. Because I'm using it for my garden, for my bits and pieces, my arts and crap. <laughs> that's what my husband says. Your arts and crap. And my calamansi seed grown has reverted back to all these thorns. Look, see, if that's, I have to throw that away because it's not good. Anyway, that one has to go in that spot there where that elm tree is growing now oh my god it's so windy now that lomandra that i pulled out before i just plonk it there and they're still alive now anyway guys i still have to do a screen over here i would like to have a screen so that way i don't feel so naked when i'm walking around here it can be like a secret garden and anyway i think it's about to rain so if it rains we're not gonna have frost because when it's raining or cloudy, you don't get frost. So tomorrow we're planning to go fossicking as well, go get some gold, because I don't even know what gold looks like anymore. So I want to go panning for gold. And then this aloe, mangave, sorry. Oh, not aloe, mangave, it's got lots of babies. This is the first time I'm gonna put that. 2018 is when 
I acquired that plant and now I don't even know what year it is but anyway it's been living in the backyard for a while and it has survived uh, the frost sort of semi shaded position covered up but this is the first year I'm gonna put it out here but I've got my butterfly tree here my bedlaya is gonna be sort of semi covering it and also the um, elm tree uh, never mind I can't think because on my head okay what else yes this one okay that sedum uh, something it's got a long name <laughs> or use whatever but anyway so pretty there's a story to that one i wanted a thick bush a lady that i got that from sold something about that thick to a friend of mine for five dollars and so when i asked for another one she wouldn't sell me any because she thought that i'm just gonna sell them because i've been buying a lot of succulents and every time i buy succulents from her or plants from her she would say why do you want so much and she was wondering probably that i'm gonna sell them so she didn't sell it to me and my friend only gave me a cutting thank you lynn uh, of two pieces because it was like a little stem like so like this so i've got three bits like that and i still have another cluster in the backyard so look even in there so they're growing but anyway so now it's growing and i really want to take that and put that here as a fill up isn't it a beautiful yellow and green fill up what was i here for yes yeah, showing you this violet queen they are not as colorful as in autumn is when the color comes out and they only call in summer they're actually just sort of blue 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 okay so they're not violet at all so anyway guys that's all for this video you can see i've got lots to do but rome wasn't built in a day and ionium that reminds me i have to start putting my ionium out here so that one is still in the pot can you see the trot pot over there i haven't repotted it and that one is also in the pot but now that has taken root so anyway oops it's still moving so there's still movement but it's sort of semi-shaded and also this new zealand flax here i think it's just beautiful and it's just provi gonna provide a lot of protection for my plants that are in this area anyway that's all for this video and look i haven't even filled up that pot yet i put my euphobias over here oh the peperomia anyway experimentation if they survive winter then i'm gonna put a whole heap of my graviolins that i'm gonna take some cutting soon so i can propagate it so next year if they do survive i can put it in my garden okay guys that's all for now and i'll see you in the next video oh yes what are you yes Ubrigida. Hello, you've been eaten. Oh, I have to put some snail pellets. They're being chewed up by the snail. But look at the baby. It's so big in the bottom now. Okay, that's all my lovelies. Now I'm going to go inside and have a cup of coffee, my second one.